Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Tutorials. In this episode, we will check out how to use XLOOKUP in Excel. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. On this book, I have three sheets. See it is where I will demonstrate. Do it is for you to practice. And there is a data set sheet that I will use for demonstration. Let me go back to the see it sheet. Here, what I want is I want the XLOOKUP to check my email IDs, look up that value in my data set in the column E and get me the employee ID from the same row when that value is found. So for that, I will go ahead and type in XLOOKUP in my cell B2. As soon as I select my function, you will notice Excel is giving me a hint of what this function syntax looks like. There are first three arguments that are required that is lookup value, lookup array and the return array. Those are the required arguments. After that, whatever you see in the angular brackets is optional. So let me expand this by clicking this down arrow. Here you can see the description of the function with an example and description of each argument that is used inside this function. So let me first click on this cell. This is what I want to look. Now, where should my XLOOKUP look for that value? It should look for that value in my data set. Let me minimize this. And I want it to look in the entire column E, comma. What should it return? When that value is found, I want the XLOOKUP to return the value from the column A in the same row. Now, let me close the bracket and press enter. What is happening here is XLOOKUP is searching for this email ID in this data set on the column E. And when that value is found, it is trying to get the value from the same row where that value is found from the column A and return it as the returning value. Now let me drag this down to fetch other values. I hope you find this useful. In case you have doubts, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section below. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you so much. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.